We are in Microsoft Windows Server 2016, and let's create an MX or a mail record so we know where mail should be delivered for certain mail servers. Let's go ahead and choose Tools and open up our DNS manager from a server manager. And let's go to our forward lookup zone. So we see that our zones are created here, but the name of our company email is not listed. So let's go ahead and create a new zone. And let's say that our company zone is called widget.com. We're going to create a primary zone that is stored in Active Directory. And I've gone over what all that means in previous videos, so you can check those out. So let's say the name of our company is still widget, but it's widget.com where people send us email. Let's go ahead and click Next, Next, and Finish. So there's widget.com, and now we need to know where when the email comes in, where it should go or where the email goes out. Let's go ahead and right click and choose a new mail exchange or MX record. So we're going to leave the top level blank. We're not going to give it host or child domain. It's because when people send us an email to such as sales at widget.com, we need to have it just be widget.com. If you put anything in front of it, then it will have to have that additional name in front of it as well, which makes no sense. So we just want to have widget.com. Then we want to say, what's the fully qualified domain name of the mail server? So let's go ahead and browse to it. And let's say that it is inside widget.com and we see nothing there. So we've got to create a record for it to point to. So before we can create a, uh, an MX record, we got to create a host record. So let's go ahead and create new a host record and we're going to call this mail. So we know the name of our server is mail.widget.com and we say the IP address is 192.168.15.12. Let's go ahead and we don't need a reverse record for that. Let's just go ahead and click add host. So now we have a host where we can point the mail. So let's go back in and create an MX record. Again, we leave this part blank at the top and we put in the name of our record. So let's go to DC2 and then we're going to go to widget.com and we'll choose our host record we just created. So now all of our email for widget.com is going to be emailed to mail.widget.com's host record. Let's go ahead and click OK. Very good. So this is all if you host your mail internally and your DNS registration or DNS hosting is being done internally as well. So if your email is being hosted internally but your DNS registrar, DNS uh, domain provider is, say, Network Solutions, then you would go to NetworkSolutions.com and you would create an MX record that points back to the public IP address where this particular server uh, is found. Now, the only time I've ever found uh, reason to do uh, an MX record internally is uh, for two reasons. One would be if you're doing your DNS uh, uh, hosting yourself, which is a very rare thing. It's something that you would have to keep up on your own. You have to open up uh, certain firewall ports and uh, make changes with your DNS registrar. So not very many companies do that. The other time we need to do it is if the record online is incorrect. Like say it points to the wrong mail server. Sometimes Network Solutions gets behind, GoDaddy gets behind, and they're not pointing to the proper name or IP address of where the mail sits for someone you want to send email to. So then you would, what you would do is you would create a new zone, just like we just did, a new zone, you create a new A record, and then you create an MX record. So that way, your mail server, if it's hosted internally, when it goes out to send an email, it will send it to the mail he that's pointed here rather than the mail server that's incorrect out there pointing from GoDaddy or Network Solutions. Uh, so I've done that in several cases when those records are incorrect. And that's allowed me to email people uh, even when the public records were wrong because my mail server would look internally to what that host record is pointing to rather than externally. So instead of having a, an internal IP address like 15.12, it will have a public address, you know, something out, uh, you know, on the public. Of course, it's not going to be that address, but just to give you an idea. So that's how we set up and why we set up an MX record in Windows Server 2016 DNS.